hey guys welcome back I guess this is the fourth video regarding PHP and XML tutorial so in this part I'm going to explain you how to append data to previously created XML file so in the last previous part we we're actually uh, busy with creating uh, XML files uh, brand new XML files but we are not appending the data so in this part we are not actually going to create a uh, create a new file uh, we are going to uh, open a already created file in this case uh, our file is my data dot XML and we are appending our data to it so I got these two functions from uh, last video I mean video 3 and uh, I have created a file I think I have shown it before uh, I'm retrieving the form data here in uh, SID SRAM and these are three lines for uh, XML manipulation so as I said I'm going to open this XML file and I'm going to append data to it so first of all open XML file XML there's a method called load which is used to load our XML file so I have to you have to specify your uh, file here in our case I think it's my data dot XML so our XML uh, will contains all the data uh, regarding this XML file so that's it uh, on the second thing uh, I'm going to do is uh, to retrieve I'm going to retrieve this uh, student uh, so that I can append data to this uh, student uh, root element so in order to access the root element again there is an inbuilt function called uh, I guess uh, get element by tag name so this is the function which is used to uh, uh, retrieve any element in this uh, function uh, in this xml file uh, the reason why i'm retrieving this uh, student root elements on uh, is to append any new brand new data so get element by id name of in our case our id name is student i mean el element name is student and we are retrieving a uh, first node of it uh, first item so don't worry about this line it will this line will uh, just retrieve our uh, root element so that's it guys we, we got uh, root element now so and the second thing is uh, pretty simple I'm going to append uh, data to it uh, let's remove this gender So appending the data MPS again same thing uh, create element id is equals to uh, sorry yes create element of what is that id and uh, we are supposed to append that to student right in our case uh, it is not uh, student it is root if you want you can change uh, root to student so and second thing is so you are supposed to append value to it so c value create value so these are the two functions uh, which we have created in previous class Th uh, these are not important functions uh, if you guys haven't seen uh, our previous videos i suggest you to go and watch it so what's the id name here our id name is sid sid and it was supposed to append that to what's that id and uh, pretty cool the same thing applies for name also so name create element with name and append that to no you wanna uh, yeah append to root element and again name here so that's it guys these two lines will create again id element and with a brand new value name and its respective value so let's run this name uh, let's say tab 
193. So that's it, no errors. Uh, let's go and check our XML file. So that's it, we got no, we got something else. Let's check where we have done wrong. Oh, here we go. We are actually we are appending our ID to sorry, name to ID. So that's wrong, I guess. Let's arrange the data. So let's run our PHP code again. Now I'll try to check our XML code. So let's see, we got it. 10 MS 0.139 and Kalyan. So uh, again, if you uh, run that index file, um, let's say this time Uday. So go and check uh, your XML file. So that's it. We got again. Well, I guess I have an entry 193 here. So then, so if you notice here, uh, actually this is not the proper way of uh, appending the syntax. Uh, uh, this not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, external tag student uh, for each and every data just to separate each and every student. Uh, change that to students. So I guess you are following with me. So I'm uh, I'm adding external tag student just to separate each and every student data. So uh, this is the external structure of our XML file which we are going to create now. So I guess this is the perfect way of uh, creating XML file with multiple data and this way you can separate uh, data of each and every uh, student. Uh, so wrapped up with the students and each student got his own data. It's a damn student here. Okay. This is on the data and this is on the data. So let's try to create in a PHP. I mean uh, programmatically. One thing you have to remember I guess XML files are not uh, uh, meant to be created for uh, human beings these xml files are created for uh, um, systems uh, i mean processors so and that's the reason why we are creating in a uh, uh, php you you guys can uh, create your xml file with asp.net or uh, java as well as any other things but i prefer i'm using php nothing happens with uh, with another xml files so as I said, uh, we are supposed to group each and every uh, data with student. Let's remove this. So a uh, student uh, root elements uh, must be necessary. So keep it there. Now, now I'm going to create a uh, student element. Let's say student. Here, student is not a root element. No, uh, uh, students. Uh, that is plural. I guess students uh, is our root element, and we are appending a student to that uh, root element. So that's it. Let's try to check that. Run our project. First one, uh, error 10 ms 0 1 2 3. Oh, we got two errors 25 25. See, element actually, we are supposed to return it stu the ent, and we are not supposed to append the two, we are supposed to append the two student tag. I will explain it later uh, if you got confused. Run it again. Okay, C element on 2525. Oh, sorry, guys, it's not a variable, it's a function. So, this time, my god. 
call to member function open child on line 7 sorry guys oh, sorry sorry student xml get elements by tag name of students how oh, actually we changed is uh, root element to students right so we are supposed to change to students so these are the small small so uh, we have changed this uh, root elements to uh, students instead of student so we are supposed to change student to students uh, I changed it before so don't worry about that continue so that's it we got no errors try to check your xml file first pretty cool right now try to append any new data to it now let's say this time to bear and i guess this ratio number is 112 submit and go and check that xml file so here you go we got that xml file oh but it's not properly structured right even though it's not properly structured we got our ex data successfully uh, i'll explain it later i don't know why it is coming structured so our goal is finished we are actually appending the data if you want we can uh, append uh, thousands and thousands of data to it so let's try to add another uh, XML. Okay, don't worry about this guys. Uh, so I can't explain that uh, structure right now. So that's it. Now we got uh, we are uh, able to append the data. So this is the last video regarding PHP and XML creation of files. In the next video, I will explain uh, how to retrieve data. In this four parts, we have uh, four parts. We actually created the XML file. In the next parts, uh, I will show you how to uh, retrieve this data in your uh, PHP file as we retrieved our uh, root element uh, here. So thanks for viewing, uh, viewing us. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe us.